Hi Libra, this is your reading and I'm uh, for the 21st to the 27th of September 2020 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel T Tarot and thank you for coming back and for all your likes and shares. Apparently the tr uh, Transparent Tarot is liked really not, uh, ginormously and I'm doing this in, in an other way using an other deck and with the transparent tarot you can use the transparent tarot in a lot of ways now there is some also some good stuff and welcome to the new viewers that have landed on this page have a look at the review of the transparent tarot I've had a lot of re positive reactions even from other readers and uh, which I'm grateful for and also have a look at the review there you can see all the cards and if you look l this week's and last week's uh, readings then you can see how I built it up and the different type of readings that you can do with the transparent tarot this week I'm using the everyday witch tarot as we are going into autumn Libra and also the Wiccan uh, calendar is the fall equinox that means autumn in our calendar and there's also the Maybon festivities that's the harvest festival um, also uh, we've got I've got um, a video up and running for when you have subscribed uh, and hit the bell on all on how to set your settings in YouTube to give YouTube permission and in your mobile device to get notified. We all know that Facebook, YouTube and all the other media channels are updating their system or renewing their system so that is why you might not get notified from your favorite channels there is a video on how to do that on your laptop and on your telephone so I hope you find that a uh, useful there is also a video of the energy uh, that could what a uh, Libra energy there's a video on Libra energy as we're going into Libra and what does this energy mean or could mean for you even although you're not an, a Libra um, that you can use it okay have a look at that one as well and we've got the new episode of the first um, the first episode of the second series of the witch with Georgina West that's the Wiccan the, from England that I'm working with it's purely in English the Dutch ones will be coming up later and the romance readings will be up and running next week as well so I'll be very very busy there could also there will also be guests uh, coming in um, so uh, um, with the uh, running alongside it and the guests will be coming in on Charlie's Angel Crowd okay so if you would like to uh, know a little bit more about the the Wiccan side of things and how to make candles uh, then join the page on Facebook Charlie's Angel Crowd and there's also going to be giveaways in the harvest time when we're doing running both series okay I'm not going to disclose but it, it, one of the free giveaways is the uh, Shadowland Tarot okay the first card that we have for you Libra is the Ace of Wands so you might be going into action or doing something active something new a hobby a work you uh, could be uh, starting your own company you, something new or a new passion um, as the ones stand for action passion creativity logic and they really are fiery people fiery means that they know what they want and they go for it cost what may so you might be meeting an Aries a Leo a Sagittarius and you might be actually hooking up with one of them now if you're going to start your business a new business or a sideline along your work uh, your job your daily job 
um, you can manage it because you've got the magician again a new beginning number one is the magician he's got all the tools in front of him and around him and he's doing his magic <laughs> Uh, the magician also represents Aries and Gemini so you could be um, having something to do or have passion a new passion with an Aries foremost and a Gemini okay then we have the Knight of Pentacles you are getting news he brings you news and this news is definitely news with durability and for long term but you could also be meeting a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus this if it is a passion then make sure that you know each other's boundaries and it's clear to everybody what is going on and what you want from this relationship work your magic work your charm Woo! and wow <laughs> that just came out and uh, then it will be steady and uh, but sure surely will grow into a fully fledged relationship if you are already hooked up with a fire sign and sometimes you might think oh gosh what did I start or what what kind of partner do I have then make sure that you um, keep on doing the communication okay Libra you are the air sign you can communicate so let your boundaries be known and also stipulate to the earth sign and the fire sign or the other air sign Gemini as they are on the table as well uh, what you wish and what you want and then there can't be anything wrong then it is not just passion it is a long fully fledged stable relationship at the end of the week there might be celebrations so you might be invited to celebrations or you might be celebrating something because something has come into the material world you're no longer thinking about it you're no longer procrastinating you've done your magic you've done your research you've got into action you've got the news boom it could be a house it could be a relationship like I said or a new job you will be celebrating at the end of the week as you have the three of sorry no it's not the three of cups but it looks like celebrations and because this looks like garlands to me you've got the three of wands let's have a look no it's the four of wands you will be celebrating you might be getting married how stupid of me my excuses but I'm only a human being and a channel you've got the four of wands like I look at this and I say celebrations I didn't even see the three of cups I thought it was the three of cups but four means the four of wands means weddings so you might be going to a wedding or it might be your own wedding or it could just be celebrations in general you will be meeting people there and there uh, you could be forming new friendships and relationships that could be your new love if you're no not hooked up you could be meeting an Aries a Leo a Sagittarius and uh, or an Aries and Gemini or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn these relationships because we've got the st stability uh, and the durability and long-term uh, factor element here uh, will be built on proper foundations because it's the four of ones so it, it will be a lasting relationship now we've got the Queen of Pentacles so we were talking about Virgo this could be a Virgo lady that you're meeting or a um, Libra or um, it could be uh, also their rising sign or moon sign so they can be a Virgo fire with Virgo rising or moon or it can be a Virgo uh, with fire in their chart okay the cards aren't sexist so if you are a lady you could be meeting definitely a, a new friend which is a lady and she could be your best friend for life or she could be the man with a nurturing sight 
The Queen of Pentacles means that the time is fertile to get pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. You might find out that she's pregnant or that you um, that this Virgo is pregnant um, or that your girlfriend is pregnant. So you might become an auntie or a godmother. That could be the celebrations. Okay. Um, also, um, she's got green fingers. So every seed that she plants, she nurtures. So this could be you. You have planted the seeds. You've started something new. Could be a business. Could be a relationship or a friendship with the Virgo. But you will be nurturing this friendship for life because she's got green fingers and she makes things grow so you will become very good friends because it's built on proper foundations okay and she uh, plucks the harvest so if you've invested anything you might be plucking the harvest this week and look it is on the ace of wands and the ace of wands is a new beginning and you've been nurturing this idea and you've taken the necessary steps uh, like the magician and it is bringing it will bring in money this is your baby I mean, it doesn't have to be a physical baby it can be a project okay right love it you are in your strength you could also be meeting a Leo we were talking about the fire signs as you've got the ace of fire um, and look at this beautiful hand that could be the queen of pentacles nurturing standing by your side or you nurturing your idea okay and it's going to bring in money you've been patient and you've been nurturing it with love tender care look at that gentle hand you are in your strength as it is the lion in this deck it is a libra and look it's right across the thought the thought the brain of the leopard right is right across your heart chakra and your solar plex okay and you've got the cup there and the holy light or the everlasting light your heart is in this project be it a new child a birth or a pregnancy or something tangible that you want to work out as a hobby or turn a hobby into work your whole heart your whole being is in it it's giving you strength and it's putting you into balance look at his hands right above right so balance is here for you you've thought about this how to balance it out brilliant <coughs> on Friday you have news coming in and you've got the Sun now let's see where the Sun stands the Sun you are in the middle of the spotlight the Sun is right boom on top of you so people are noticing you you have recognition you will have recognition there could be a Leo like I said the Sun is also Leo or represents Leo that could be interested in you Wow so you've got three cards of representing a Leo and you've got two cards representing Aries now you could be moving in or you could be moving home but you could also be expanding expanding your business um, if you if this is a romance reading you might be move, might have bought a home together with your potential partner and you're moving home as the Sun means moving home but as we've got the marriage card lying there you might be going on holiday Wow again the Sun means um, fertility so that means you could be getting pregnant or you got pregnant in Leo in August and you're finding that out that you have been pregnant for a couple of weeks okay now there could be uh, something that you need more information about 
okay because a spotlight illuminates things as well so you need to do more research or you need to have more information with regards to a question or a situation um, there's honeymoon travel honeymoon could be a holiday and there's definitely moving home but you might be moving up a next level and since this card means moving up a next level in business or in relationships you, we see that you are moving up to the next level because there's marriage there's partnerships there's coming together wow amazing so that is beautiful it is boom the, the spotlight is right on top of you okay you are going for long-term and durability and all your passion your heart is in it there's so much light the Sun and the Holy Trinity light or the divine light there and magic is happening around you Libra Wow it's beautiful Um, also with the Sun be care I'm hearing if you're traveling take Sun cream with you I don't know why but there is somebody over sensitive about the Sun so be careful this could be to do with your health you might be very very sensitive for the Sun there's somebody that needs factor 50 that's I'm getting that is what I'm getting not 30 50 okay and then we go to the death card the scythe is represented because the uh, um, the angel of death always carries the scythe cutting away the past okay you're leaving you're closing a face you're going into a new face you're no longer the caterpillar and you are the butterfly you're going into something bigger than you celebrations okay beautiful it could be a Scorpio that you could be meeting as well so I'll repeat the people that are in your reading that is Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, that is the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn and then we have the Knight of Pentacles so that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn the Sun Leo the lion is Leo or strength card is Leo and we have the scythe the death card okay so you're cutting away from being alone you're coming grouping together and you're celebrating this new future our new friendships Wow I love it now I've got the answers of the angels and your card I'll be taking the card that sticks out the most and you ask your angels if you need help remember don't shy away to ask help from anybody else or um, uh, your angels and I'm pulling a romance card um, for you and this is the romance card and finances and career are issues could be issues an issue factor in your love life right now perhaps that could be true um, but I think you're going to be okay because you've got the ace of wands you've got the queen of pentacles you have sown seeds and they're coming to fruition but this could be that you've applied for a loan you've applied for a job and you've got it you've worked your magic you've been patient and caring and uh, you've endured everything so now the magic is happening you get news that you've got the job the Sun is on you everything positive 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 there will be celebrations whether it's a wedding or a birthday later in the month as we are in Libra I wish you happy birthday Libra I hope you have a great month and I hope you have a brilliant day on your birthday 
I think it's magic and I hope you've in, uh, uh, enjoyed the reading and please go and have a look at the other videos I mentioned in the introduction that could help you as well that will extend your reading a little bit more take care I hope there is lots of harmony and peace for you this month take care God bless and stay safe Thank you.